everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootstepstopeace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys, June 9th. What messages, what guidance do we have, Spirit, for June 9th for the collective? Okay, we got two cards out. The end of a tough cycle approaches a win-win outcome is forecast okay so we have Libra here and we have Capricorn here so this could actually have to do with some, uh, you could be dealing with one or you could have those two those signs in your chart okay so let's go with the full moon in Capricorn this one talks about how hard are you willing to work for what you want. This card is reminding you that effort is required. Work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up. If you are wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. The end of a rough time is forecast. This card also asks you to consider how ambitious you are and whether you are prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true. Without being ruthless, with a love question, this card can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation you're asking about, make a plan. Making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, prioritize it more. Attuning to the moon says release control and trust the universe. Additional meanings for this card says a professional project may be ending now. Admit if you have been overly hard-headed or hard-nosed. Find a place between your personal and private lives. It is time to stop fearing the worst. The teaching says the full moon in Capricorn is a very strong worth work ethic and energy and will be more than likely and will more than likely come up when you're asking a professional question if your question is about another matter it will serve as much needed reminder to move through any feelings of hopelessness you may have been feeling about your situation and this applies no matter when you draw this card making a plan is far better use of your time so for some of you you know when you do quit that job or you walk away from that relationship a win-win situation is forecast that means you've re now reset the balancing of the scales. You know, maybe it was tipped. Maybe your job was overworking you and you needed, um, and in order for you to, you know, to come out, I feel like, I don't know how I want to say this. I just feel like it's restoring balance by you ending whatever this is. Whether you're ending a relationship, you're ending a job, it's all situational, okay? And then we have the full moon in Libra, which is another ending, okay? Uh, but at simultaneously with the fact that tomorrow is an eclipse, you know, it's actually a new beginning as well. So keep that in mind, you guys. You're closing one chapter and you're starting a new chapter. And this new moon eclipse is no joke. This is no small potatoes. Okay, a full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership, of falling in love, and of closely relating to someone else. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow. Yeah, you're quitting it. Perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason and sometimes just for a season. If a relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship, see? There is a sense that you need to balance your ego and someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible when, with give and take. Doing so might be be the answer to your question. Let go of that which is falling away. Learn to let go, you guys. And see the other person through the eyes of love. It will change your perspective. It's time for you to make a firm decision. Time for you to focus on yourself for a while. Look after yourself, but avoid vanity. Now is a great time for a makeover. The teaching says no matter when you pull the full moon in Libra, it encourages you to find a balance between your desires and those of the people around you. Balance is a very Libra and energy and the full moon brings things to a peak. Dramas and upsets bring partnerships to the fore. Libra energy also brings love energy and nego no uh, excuse me, negotiations are easier. So, you know, maybe for some of you, you've decided, okay, you're not going to just, maybe you're not going to fully quit your job. Maybe you're just going to take, <clears throat> take on, <clears throat> you know, pick up shifts. 
excuse me, maybe you're going to pick up shifts, you know, I mean, it can be anything depending on the person, but I do feel like where it's like, because we have this eclipse energy and we just went through that full moon eclipse in Sagittarius a couple of weeks ago, I feel like this is literally not small potatoes at this point. Like we're not dealing with small energy. And I feel like, you know, at the bottom of the deck, it does talk about balancing spirituality and practicality. You know, it's okay to want to do things to help other people. And that's a full moon in Pisces. But it's another thing to, you know, um, do things that are going to make you happy. Have you been so head in the clouds that you've ha lost touch with reality? If so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make a concerted effort to move towards your goals. So if that's you going back to school, or if that's you, you know, you want a relationship, but yet you can hold yourself back because you're so afraid, you know, it can be any one of those things, or you hold yourself from the job that you've always wanted, you know, because this other job pays the bills. And at least, you know, you're, you're going to be able and you, for some of you, it's because you have to take a pay cut. You know, when I look at the balancing of the scales, it's like you have to take a pay cut. So if this, if so, take this card as a sign that you need to pay attention and make a concerted effort to move towards your goals. The more practical you, steps you can take, the better. It's time to find an inner balance between your responsibilities and your dreams. You know, you may have responsibility to go to work every single day, but if it's keeping you from actually, you know, enjoying life or keeping you from your family or keeping you from learning the things that you were sent here to learn, then there has to be a balance. There's got to be, it's one thing to want to help people. That's your spiritual side, but it's another thing to get practical and about learning about your own value system. And, you know, why are you putting your dreams aside to build somebody else's fucking empire? You know? You got to quit trying to build everybody else's empire or, you know, when we put all these rules on top of ourselves, God, I'd really like to have a relationship when I have all the money in the bank, when I have all these jobs done, when I have, when, what the fuck? Like everybody keeps putting all these um, blocks on themselves when really if you could just take the fucking blocks off yourselves and go after the things that you want, all, the whole world will conspire. The universe will conspire to bring you everything you need for you to live your true and authentic self. That's spiritual and that's also practical. Okay? <clears throat> Meditate on your question and the solutions to your issue may now come through very clearly. If you're in a tricky situation because you've been acting the martyr, this card will be a message from the cosmos to drop the act for everyone's sake. Meditate every day and see what comes to you and answers will come. You're in a super romantic but not super realistic state, so make sure that you're being practical about the dreams that you're trying to manifest. Or, you know, it's like one thing to think about, oh, I want to be in this relationship, or oh, I want to be awake. Take the practical steps that you're guided to take. You can't keep dreaming about being single, or you can't keep dreaming about being in a relationship, and then you just sit at home and do nothing, or you're constantly, you know, being the player. You know, keep that in mind. Uh, follow your intuition. It won't let you down. At worst, this card can herald the end of a dream. The person you're inquiring about is a soulmate. For those of you who have been wanting to go into union with somebody, yes. You know, maybe you came into this person's life thinking that they were going to be something that, you know, else, maybe you were going to work with them on something. And then all of a sudden you accidentally actually can't stop thinking about this person. And it's because that's how the universe brought you in this person is so that, you know, you thought it was going to go one way and you can't help who you fall in love with. So, you know, take the, take the opportunity. Okay. Um, Avoid substance abuse. For those of you that need it, you know, going out and talking to somebody, getting yourself a sponsor, you know, working on your addictions and things like that are going to be really, really helpful. Pisces is the last sign of the zodiac, so the full moon in Pisces symbolically marks endings. When the moon is in, is full in Pisces, or whenever you pull this card, it's a time to delve deep into your emotions. Practicality is at odds with numer numinous Piscean energy that have no borders. So feel your way now. Psychic ability is heightened when the full moon is in Pisces and soulmates now connect. It's also a time to send out your dreams to the universe, releasing your fears. You've got to release your fears, okay? That's, your fears are o the only things that are going to hold you back from being able to move forward and manifest the life of your dreams, okay? So you're literally going to have to get over your, uh, you know, thinking negatively because we're in this manifestation energy that is so important for us right now, you guys. 
I cannot stress that any further. I, you know, I don't even feel like pulling these cards. I feel like pulling the top card out from the bottom. Okay, there it is. Your dreams need a practical plan, okay? Your dreams need a practical plan. So, okay, say you do quit that job and you decide, okay, I, I want to go back to school. Okay, well, do you have the finances to be able to do that? You know, you still have to pay the bills, so we have to get practical here. How are we going to make this happen? And be mindful that you're not, you know, butting heads with other people and you're not just going in circles as well. Um, with the new dreams need a practical plan, it's also a full moon energy, full moon in Taurus. Okay, Taurus is all about value system, and I talked about that earlier. So it says, sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic, and sometimes you need to be practical, and sometimes you need to find a combination of the two. This card suggests that there is, that this is where you are now. You need to use the laws of attraction to draw in what you want by imagining it, expecting it, welcoming it. But you need to balance that with taking down to earth steps towards your goals. Here's your balance right next door, okay? It, you know, working hard. You guys have worked really hard on whatever this is. And so now it's time for you to get practical about how you're going to bring this into fruition. So, and you have to do this on the earth level. You have two earth cards, okay, with the Capricorn and Taurus here. You have, you have two earth cards. And then you have the watery Pisces here, which is like, I'm just going to be in dreamland. Well, you can dream all you want, but you, you know, you have to communicate what it is that you want. So this isn't about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. It's about making something like a list of bullet points about how to achieve your dreams. If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortunes, depending on both your past actions and what you're expecting and therefore attracting. So write down 10 things that you know are wonderful about you. And I know that that sounds really silly to a lot of people. They don't like to do it. They listen to it and they just, you know, flip off the video and they don't think that they have to do any of the work. And I'll be honest with you, you've got to do the fucking work. You know, we're not just sitting here just speaking for no reason. You can click onto any one of these psychics and astrologers and there's work that has to be done. It's one thing knowing this information, but it's another thing by putting it into practical, you know, everyday living because it's, you know, you can, oh, I'm spiritual because I watched YouTube videos of psychics and astrologers. But, you know, here's the deal. You, you can tell when you have a psychic astrologer or any one of those who are actually walking the walk. You know, myself, I don't, I don't get to sit here and, and, you know, look at all this and tell you guys all this. And then you guys see me out being a piece of shit and worrying and one, uh, uh, freaking out. Like, is that going to help? No. Lead by example. And so you guys have to get practical about what it is that you're putting out there, and which means sitting down, writing out your manifestations. We are in a new moon. Doing your new moon manifestations is going to be very important, okay? For those of you who watched me yesterday, you should have already been doing that. So laziness could explain your current situation. If so, change that and own it. Uh, chasing money doesn't work. You need to chase a dream. Jealousy or envy create negative energy and attract negativity. Uh, more exercise is called for. The full moon in Taurus is a time to get back to earth, to get grounded, to work through any negative feelings you've been dealing with, and to find a balance between being passionate and being overly intense. Money issues may come to a head at the time of the full moon in Taurus, but you can take this card as a signal or as a sign to pay more attention to your cash flow no matter when you draw it. So here's the deal. If you guys have a bunch of addictions that you can afford to spend money on, then you can afford to stop doing your addiction so that you can afford your own damn bills. You know, you can sit and bitch, but you know, about your money situations. But you know, when I have two cards of Venus here, which is more important, love or money? You're not loving yourself when you're not taking care of yourself. And that means about the foods that you're consuming, the things that you're putting in your body, the addictions you may have, whether it's cigarettes, alcohol, any one of those things. Okay. So you really have to, if you want money to come in, the universe is like, okay, well, what are you spending your money on? You think that that doesn't play into as a factor in what they're willing to give you and not? So keep that in mind. If you keep hitting, uh, you know, purchase on the Amazon button, buy now, buy now, buy now, what are you purchasing? Is it that important? Or are you just buying stuff for the sake of buying it? You know, we're not in the past like we used to be. So you have to really get practical about what you're spending your money on. 
you know, we have Pluto in Capricorn and we've got Uranus in Taurus. And I'm going to tell you, things can change drastically. So two Venus ruled cards, cards here. I feel like, you know, with Jupiter in Pisces and having Jupiter there right now, I feel like this has something to do with communications. You know, for some of you, you communicate for your job. You do sales. You, you know, work with other people's money. Uh, for some of you, this is life insurance, you know, some type of an insurance, okay? But this is about you communicating. And the fact that we have the new moon eclipse in Gemini, communication is key. You're waiting on key communication, okay, that is going to help you move forward in a very practical way. But again, your dreams need a practical plan. Your dreams need a practical plan. What is that practical plan? So let's go ahead and I'm only going to pull, yeah, the lover's card. Here's the Gemini card. Okay, so this is in reverse. And this is like not making a choice and decision. I feel like, you know, for some of you, you've fallen out of love with somebody. So you're ending this relationship. Maybe with the Gemini. Next card out. You've got the Knight of Cups. Okay, so a win-win outcome is forecast. Somebody coming in. Somebody who wants to show you their love. Eight of Wands. This is about communication. The bottom of the deck, Eight of Pentacles. This is about work. Sorry, you guys. This is my finger. I just had a little surgical procedure done on my finger. So <laughs> I've been trying to keep it hidden. The numbing's starting to wear off, though. Um, but this is about work, okay? And maybe it's been kind of quiet at work. But this is about you working and you needing to get practical, you know, and you have to learn how to balance practicality and your spirituality. So if you're always in that mindset of, I don't have enough money, or I, I don't know how I'm going to be able to get, you know, the money that I need, or I can't afford to pay my bills and, and those kinds of things, then you're going to be in a lack of mentality. And then all the hard work that you're putting in, you're just going to be spinning your wheels. Okay. So I feel like with these four full moons that I'm seeing right across the board, it's like, if you're, if you're going to do this, you need to do it because you're passionate about it. Stop chasing the money and start chasing your dreams. Okay. And that's what this whole thing is about. And your dreams need a practical plan. You've got the word practicality here twice in this reading, okay? You have to learn how to be practical about the things that you want and how you want to move forward. Now, in doing so, this is about practicality. This is about you mastering your craft. This is about you just going in and being able to perfect it, okay? The lovers in the reverse is, you know, maybe you're not in love with what you're doing. And maybe it's time for you to take your cup elsewhere, okay? Because, you know, and if you're willing to do that, for some of you, you're quitting your job today. For others of you, you've decided, I'm taking my cup elsewhere. There's something else I want to do. And you're going to be, you know, putting out that resume, you know, filling out, you know, making phone calls, emails, text messages. I feel like, you know... In doing so, I feel like this is going to end up working out better than you could have expected, okay? So with that said, let me go ahead. I want to pull, let's go ahead and pull a crystal card for today. I'm going to shake things up a little bit. Spirit, please show me a crystal for today for June 9th. What crystal do you have for June 9th, Spirit? Okay, wow, ruby. All right, I like that. You guys, we got the ruby here. So let's go ahead and read that. Here it is. All right. Passion, love, precious memories. Getting back to the things that you're passionate about. That's what the wands are here for. Your passion for someone you love is being rekindled and you will soon find yourself glowing with a newfound sense of joy and wonder for life. As you find yourself reflecting on all the blessings and precious memories derived from this beautiful relationship, you realize that bad times are easily forgotten, yet precious memories of love live forever. Love is an ocean which forever ebbs and flows, at times a raging sea, at times tranquil and calm. Okay, so not just about love, and we'll, we'll put that in the love messages here in a minute, but I feel like, you know, and we did. I feel like this is getting back to your passions, you know, your passion projects at that. You know, again, if you're not valuing what you're doing, take your cup elsewhere. For those of you, let's go ahead and find out what this is, what this means for love. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be meeting someone or somebody is going to be coming in and giving you a romantic offer. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it can come to you now. And, you know, this is showing up under the lovers in reverse. I feel like, you know, you need to make a decision. I feel like there is a very spiritual alignment here. Flirt. Somebody's going to want to flirt with you guys today. Somebody's going to be flirting. 
Um, but I feel like this is a very spiritual alignment for some of you guys, and you're afraid. All right, next card out, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path, okay? And the bottom of the deck, past life relationship. Uh, you have known each other before, and if you remember correctly, that's what this card was talking about, a past life relationship. Again, and I said, for some of you, maybe this person was brought in because of work. Maybe you guys wanted to work on a, a project together, or you wanted to work on something together, and then all of a sudden, something just uh, came about, and you realize, oh my God, I actually really care about this person. Uh, I feel like, you know, but you're going to have to, you're, but you're just kind of standing on it. You're not actually doing anything about it, okay? So you have to decide, do I want to go into this relationship? This person really feels like a soulmate to me, and I feel like I kind of want to flirt on or flirt around with the idea, but oh, I don't know, you know, they have a different belief system than I do. And it's like, you know, have those conversations. Again, you need to be get practical about what you want. And I feel like, you know, if it's if they have a different mindset, then that's okay. But when it comes right down to it, I feel like there's a lot of love in this relationship and I feel like there could be a lot of passion. I feel like, um, again, you know, you guys have done this in multiple lifetimes and the universe continues to bring the two of you guys back into each other's lives. And I feel like it's time. I almost feel like even if this doesn't happen today, I feel like it is getting ready to happen. And, but I do feel like there's going to be some type of communication that you could be getting where this person is kind of flirting with you uh, they're reaching out, maybe they're reaching out there at work and they're, you know, just saying, Hey, thinking about you and just, you know, and that's their way of flirting. That's what their way of bringing in their cup. I feel like for some of you, you're turning your back on people who just, you know, you're done, you know, and I feel like it, for some of you, you are turning your, turning your back. You're done working on this relationship. For those of you who are going through a divorce, you guys don't have the same, belief system anymore. It's time for you guys to just get going. And I don't feel like that's a bad thing. I feel like it, you loving yourself enough to walk away from this past life uh, relationship. Spirit, please show me a message for are my singles. What messages do we have for the singles, Spirit? Please show me my singles. All right, singles. There it is. What did I say? Passion. Look at that. So a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So people are going to want to flirt with you. Make sure that they're flirting with you and not flirting with you because they want something, if you know what I mean. Especially around eclipses and moon cycles, it can get very um, hot and steamy, if you know what I mean. And we've got multiple cards here that talk about passion. Spirit, please show me for my, um, my, married, my married couples. Or an established bond. Show me my established, or my couples in an established bond. What messages do we have for my couples in an established bond? Okay, that's too many cards. Spirit, one card, please. All right, there it is. Okay, couples in an established bond. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. So I feel like, you know, getting back to flirting, getting back to court, courting one another and working on this relationship Showing love for one another is going to be very, very important. And one more card for the both of them. doesn't matter if you're married, single, whatever. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So keep that in mind, you guys. Um, I'm telling you, <clears throat> every choice that we make, you know, only gets us closer and closer to divine love. And divine love is so important. I feel like, you know, somebody here is in a place of like, you know, I think that you're afraid to commit to your 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 future, but you're also excited to commit about to, with your future. And I do feel like if you're willing to commit in this relationship, for those of you who are getting ready to go into a relationship, I feel like that bond is going to be very, very strong, I, With especially with all the earth here. Uh, I feel like don't overanalyze it. Don't overthink it. Go with your heart center when I see the Pisces here. And I really say, look at the value system between the two of you. Do you guys really value the same things out of life, you know, and keep that in mind. And that's whether you're, you know, know somebody or you're interested in meeting somebody or you've already met somebody, but the two of you guys aren't together. 
Anyway, you guys, you are a diamond in a rough and you guys are absolutely beautiful. So don't let anybody ever make you think otherwise. I love you all very much. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in a personal reading, please feel free to check the description box down below. Also like, share and subscribe. It does help my channel grow and I really do appreciate it. You guys, I love you all very much and I hope you have a beautiful day. Don't forget to get in there and do your new moon manifestations. Very powerful moon. Very important time. I love you all. Take care.